so what does dopey and shit do you have for me today mr rhodes well i have pretty much <clears throat> like we talked about in dash and bash or how like all of a sudden we have news articles about we should feel sorry for landlords we feel like sad for them and stuff now yes. You know, this is spooky. Now they're gonna do it with um, automation. Now they're gonna be like, you know, um, you're gonna be happy that things are expensive and robots took your job. And literally, I kid you not, um, there is a headline that verbatim almost says that a restaurant of the future will be more expensive and full of robots. Here's why that's a good thing. <laughs> this the is not the idea. Close down. <laughs> Yo, I can't. We can't. The onion, onion's been having to run for his money since Trump got elected, it, and it's just been wild here. So, um, so this is a real headline. This is not comedy. This is not satire. And it says, "Rest of the future will be more expensive, and you'll be happy that it's expensive, and no one's there to smile at you or no show any human any emotion." Jobs and every. Uh, to be honest with you, to be honest, <laughs> if, if we're if we are honest with ourselves. If nobody has a job and they lower the meals to 50 cent and you don't have 50 cents, it's still too expensive. <laughs> so let's dig into this this happy article about um, being broke and can't afford things. Um, so restaurants are evolving as higher costs. And look at this. The labor shortage. So we already know right away. Who's who's this for right now? The wait, wait, wait. how about cost higher, but there's nobody working there? That means you're not paying anybody. <laughs> yeah, the, the costs are higher. Okay. Yo, this this article has a lot of it's like a roller coaster ride of like logic here. Um, so meals at high end spots will likely get pricier as business wage raise wages to attract workers. So already they're like, oh, we like you know. We're gonna put the burden. Let's see what happens. You're gonna raise the wage. We're gonna we're gonna make you pay more for that hamburger and that that, that fancy salad now. That's already ninety nine dollars. If someone's only pro paying, their profit margins are going to explode. And this is the stupidest shit. And like if you're talking about high end spots, those people going to high end spots are not gonna give a fuck if it's an extra three dollars for something that's already like a ninety dollar meal. Like they're not gonna give a fuck about it. So who are you who are you who are you shaming here? Who are you making you feel sad? Some of them, some of them give like fat ass tips too above what it costs. Just what, what what's on the on the ledger, you know? So, so who are you scaring here? Like cheap people? I don't know. Like um, so at more casual venues, restaurant robots let, let, would do. Let, let's give let's give insider a round of applause for the clickbaity title. <laughs> Slow claps. So. The playbook that worked for restaurants before the pandemic isn't cutting today. What paying people no money and treating people like shit? I guess that's what um, it's not working, right? So they, um, they, they faced a McFlurry of issues. <laughs> they faced a flurry of issues. A shortage of available workers. Oh no, I can't. I can't make people work for free anymore. Fuck. A shortage of pansies and dumbasses. <laughs> and simp's. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, a shortage of simp ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we opened and put a wave with the man in the spring, but restaurants want to quit. So, a short of sucker ass busters. So, <laughs> so look at this already. They're like trying to scare people, like, solutions are emerging, but they like to leave the industry permanently altered. Think fewer waiters and more robots. Fewer ten dollar appetizers, more fifteen dollar ones. The gap between upscale dining and more casual venue stands become wider than before. So you know, they're saying that you know McDonald's is gonna get even shittier than it is now, and then all the fancy stuff is gonna get spectacularly fancy. It's gonna get like scientifically fancy. Um, I mean, let's let, let let's let's <laughs> unpack this for a little bit, yeah. right? Let's take um, the baseline, which is the baseline uh, garbage in fancy packaging. Which yeah. Would be McDonald's, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's think about this a second. Their burgers cost the same as ours in other countries, right? Yeah. But they pay the workers a much higher wage. Yeah. Right? Why would, why would it cost so much? to raise the workers wages here in the United States to not even the levels that they're paid in some of these European countries 
but all of a sudden the the cost is just gonna skyrocket. No, but look at this look at this crazy barbaric honest paragraph. This is in the middle of this like um article, and this is it's a straight up honest. Restaurant work owners have long relied on workers pushed to their limits, low wages Push and to cheap the limits. They, they, Past they're low the wage. point of no return. <laughs> have Make been sure necessary you give them to no paycheck. The sector, but high end restaurants have also skews abuse as necessary to create a super relative dining experience. What the fuck? So we have to That's treat our workers there. like garbage in order for your dining experience to be immaculate. You know, like fuck you, Raider. You know, so this is a strange calling out sick is seen as weakness. <laughs> Yo name is Toby. Yeah, I can't Toby wait till these God. robots like gain self-awareness and start hey. killing these bosses, yo. So um owners are now dealing with the consequences of such treatment. Oh wow, we can't treat people like garbage. Fuck restaurant workers quit the industry. <laughs> like <laughs> yo, like uh I, I, I'm on the words for this. Um, it's no surprise the rest of workers are we thinking how yeah, they we, work. We got a lot of words for it, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> so so casual venues and fast food spots are also having a hard time hiring. Oh, what do you think? Hiring fucking children and shit? Now they look at the higher kids and Yo, shit. Yo, did you see? Did you see that shit? Did <laughs> yeah. you see that, that fucking banner from yeah. uh, Mick Garbage? Yeah. I now show... hiring 14 and 15 Yo, year I gotta olds. Show the... so We I gotta are bringing show... back child labor. Yeah, I got to show you the future. So pretty much the future is going to be so wait, wait, wait. So robots McDonald's... and children in the back. You can't see them. Is, is McDonald's going to close? The back. Is huh? McDonald's going to close the restaurant bet- in, during school hours? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like. So, so here we go. Some businesses seem to be taking a sneaky approach. Several Chipotle customers took to social media in June to complain about smaller burritos than usual. Uh, the, the chain already... Look how greedy these motherfuckers are. they rather not pay their workers money. We're talking money. about businesses that have record high profits already. They didn't leave... They, they haven't said that in the article yet at all. It's been like, oh, no, we can't treat some, restaurants like garbage. No, but it's something that is known. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, that's part of the propaganda, right? We have these articles, but they don't talk about the numbers. This is about restaurant workers are sad. Restaurant owners are sad, so we're going to play some robots. It doesn't talk about the record Why profits. Why doesn't anybody want to work for me? So here we go. So we have. So here's the robots. We have Take Flippy, a fry oh, cook I robot, working in a White Castle in Indiana. The machine works 23 hours a day, does its job with minimum risk of spill and workplace injuries, and helps all the workers be more productive. But Donald's is currently testing the AI software for driving ordering. I can't wait till these robots turn against their owners. And um I've got record profits. Why do you want more <laughs> than 725 an hour? Please work for me. So look at this is crazy. This is this is bad. Almost every American wants to avoid menial fast food jobs. That's because you don't pay the money, so of course you're not gonna do them. I mean, that's not that's the thing. D- DMX said the most amazing quote um he said that if you can't pick up a mop and um you fucked up in life even it just means that you, you can't humble yourself in any level of your life that something is wrong with you but so, so this idea that that they, they already made these jobs shitty so of course no one's going to be you treat people like garbage you treat people like shit but that doesn't mean people don't want to work at mcdonald's if if mcdonald's is 25 dollars an hour it'd be packed with people working at fucking mcdonald's um so it's not about me. Oh, and jobs. the service so, would like, be a lot less shitty. Yeah. So this is already see already. The oh, and then of- those people actually spend the money in the local economy. So the local economy gets healthier when you pay the people that live in inside of the local economy. But what so do now, I know? So now they're saying it's a new firm called Hyphen. Um, the firm recently rolled out automation that can make. 350 meals in a single hour. I'm um, telling you, the all the soul in those meals, man. I mean, it's gonna taste so delicious, man. I mean, the customer service is gonna be like in India, like, oh, it's no pickles in my burger. Oh, you have to call customer service, and it's like a hotline and like Indian hotline. It's gonna be that. It's gonna be totally outsourced nightmare. 
that's gonna happen here, you know. And then Hank Azaria is gonna is is gonna answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's freeing up repetitive tasks, like just like you did with ATMs and bank branches or grocery checkout aisles at your local. That is a terrible example. People still go to the bank. People still go to the groceries. Um, now, nah, but who, what they're saying who, is, is that you got rid of some of the tellers and made, you know, other things. <laughs> you know, like, uh, and you got rid of some of the cashiers because now you're your own cashier. So, so we have here, we have this situation. I'm going to pull out of here. So, you know, we have an article that makes you want to feel happy that robots are going to take all the jobs and yet you know they're not nothing about raising the wages nothing about health care nothing about how much money these companies made during the global pandemic it's just about um you know we need to place people with robots because we can't treat them like garbage so i want to i want to share this other wow, one that was a great synopsis yeah that, that was I, I don't even have anything to add to that <laughs> yep. so so i gotta show you places that are kind of ahead of it so we we show we saw the 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 theory that the guy had is said that the high end places and get more high end, and then the other low end places like Burger King and Taco Bell is going to get like this like a cafeteria jail house like a jail cafeteria in the jail pretty much the chow hall yeah the <laughs> chow hall. hall so 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 salad chain sweet greens buys kitchen robotic startup spice so um so this this goes back to my worry that they're going to hire. 13 year olds and put them behind this wall so they can make the salads behind the wall so you can see the children make, make the salads. So, this is a great business model right here. You have the children make the salads and um, call it a day. So, um, so like, like so many aspects of the robotic world, the pandemic has dra dramatically accelerated interest in automated kitchen. Oh, you don't say. So, um, so Sweet Games has another idea. They plan to like um, have this weird dumb ass shit i mean this feels so inhuman like i mean like you're getting a salad getting served by a robot this just seems like wrong i don't know <laughs> that, that, that that is that is a dystopian future that that this is worthy of the some future stuff segment absolutely <laughs> absolutely this is something I mean, really unholy about salad I mean, salad being you, made by a robot when you're when you are, are kind of worn out and hungry from having robot dogs like beat the shit out of you, you can get <laughs> a robot salad after. <laughs> Yo, sir, yeah. so so Sweet Greens plan to eventually incorporate spices tech technology into I, I restaurants. Don't know. I don't know, man. Like, should should I try to get the Rona and die now? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this is the fucking future. This is too much. Oh. <laughs> Somebody cough for my face. Maga. Maga. Yeah. Ma Maga, please cough for my face. So we built Sweet Green to connect with people. Now we're going to disconnect and um, make them feel like they're not human anymore. So um, I want to. We are in the Matrix. <laughs> we, are, we definitely. We have definitely flown into the Matrix. Um, especially because we have 20 roads and never saw the Matrix before. Um, we're definitely in the matrix. They're probably more jacked in than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I got so I got to share like a highlight reel of these terrible robots. We're gonna take our jobs. Um, they Dick really they germs. Dick and 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 germs. Scan the area. Why? Stop showing this creepy oh. shit. <laughs> Ford plans to pair it with a self <laughs> and. Here so it has a van too. It's a self-driving van that drives a robot to you. In homes, in hospitals, in the air, and on the stage. In the air. Plus, why a robot that pisses beer? There it is. Be the future. And why we're all a bit like this guy? Yeah, he put his hands on his head. Otherwise, it was about to be brutalized film, by soul. that robot dog. <laughs> The Ubitech Walker will meet you at the door, take your bags, act like a walking Alexa, and try and to crush your throat when you sleep. Alpha Mini is designed to entertain kids in hospital Yay. and help them exercise. It's Imagine buggy, when it quarantines genius. you in your house for your. In sleep, the operating room, this robot is red. inserted through a small hole in the abdomen. <laughs> That's spooky. I don't want that a face camera to turn and arms red. extend for the surgeon to control. 
standard laparoscopic tools have limited movement. This looks like a robot robotic penis. Tools I'm sorry. Nah, that shit looks like robot a robot that cuts off the shoulders. penis. These would be our headsets. The surgeon can rotate the arm. <laughs> in a very, like, disturbing way, too. Did you see that shit? It was like... The camera moves with the surgeon's A very head. measured and scientific, extraordinary terrible way of almost like dissecting your penis. inside the body. And they can suture automatically. Oh, God. But what if you have a brain tumor in an area that's too sensitive to operate on? These tiny robots are a fraction of the width of a human hair and can be injected into the body. That they could like sense the, the robot. chemicals being released by the tumor and wrap around it. Or poke uh, certain cells and test how stiff they are and react based on what it's measuring. To make the robots, a seven nanometer thick sheet of platinum is coated with graphene. When a current is passed through the platinum, charged water particles are attracted so to these it, are like super tiny of the sheet, robots. And reinforcing sections of the sheet helps control so the nanites. movement. The robots can be made using the same machines that make the chips in your phone. The components are flat, but connecting the robots like origami allows complex operations. If you ever wanted to get a million or so robots moving across the surface, investigating it, responding to what they measure, you're going to have to have the brains on board. I'm blaming you for Skynet, And that's sir. really what this breakthrough is going to allow us to do. Skynet, this is like a horrible nanobite the future. They swarm and, and laser take your skin away, take your whole body away. I did not the fire their hair. Like a swarm of nanobites is coming like, oh, God. This oh, shit, now we got future war right here. Stronger. Oh, yeah. So right now, it feels like we're going to the racist cops possible. You know, you know, because like when this happens, we'll be like 60, 70 years old. But they're going to have these exosuits who are like, nah, like you, you're, you're young enough. Like, this you're give it to the racist, the oldest cops possible and see what happens. Japan has a more um, leeway to live with robot uh, from the uh, yeah. anime. We, we, we see robot as heroes. Yeah. Once AI has learned to mimic the workers, the robots yeah, will we, work we on their own. Turn oh, and with shit. With also learning to drive, two of the world's biggest jobs may soon be automated. And can you guess who this stunt robot standing in for? It positions itself John precisely Phoenix. to slow. Oh, get the fuck out of here! Now you gotta worry about Estate robots standing. flying to your window robots to kill you. Robots are also starting to work together with actors it's on my set. World. Here, the robot my plays along in a comedy world. routine. Oh shit! When that robot is good and ready, he's just gonna throw you to your death. <laughs> just smack you down. Like, oh! Wow. See, in the black community, this is what is known as and white Adam Savage did some great work with the Boston Dynamics robot spot. But which is weirder, this or this? No, they're all bad. They're they're all what bad. What the fuck is this? So they're already selling these things everywhere for like total nonsense. Anyway, spot costs around seventy thousand dollars. Hold on, what is this spot? Machine. That Boston is the bot. That is going to be the last thing you ever video. see. That's what that is. Oh, they always have nice music to it. Yeah, yeah, like they this pull one, which can you use AI limb. to patrol yeah. a home or park, or even Yo, you know, you know, life person. is over if you've got Unity a robot to walk to your dog. Dogs <laughs> dogs <laughs> phones. Yo, you're not. Current you're not a the point have the two thousand seven hundred dollars. It can follow you, avoid obstacles, carry things. Oh, this is like some Metal Gear shit now. There's a lot of incredible biomimicry. This robot snake is used for search and rescue missions, moving through small gaps with a head mounted camera. What the fuck am I looking at? Rubble You're about to be killed by a Mexico robot snake. City. <laughs> the snake can also wrap its body around poles and rotate to climb them. Imagine oh, so being trapped have in robot the in the dark, Great. and then you're surrounded <laughs> by cockroaches. If you're lucky, what? there'll be these search and rescue robots. No, robot with a cockroaches. Shell to squeeze down a fraction of their size. I'm good. <laughs> this robot bat, Removes the danger of propellers. Potentially robot allowing birds. drones to work safely around crowds of people. Is that a bomb? And a robot it's cat a is being developed rat. for low gravity exploration. It can use its legs to rotate and land safely before jumping on to the next location. This robot so beautifully mimics the way real birds fly, with overlapping feathers <laughs> attached to primary and secondary walls. feathers, so they can slide apart. Because the fucking robots the are going to go crazy. These robots are also mimicking butterflies and dragonflies. Yo, this salamander robot can walk yeah, and swim. It's over. It's helping uncover how life moved from water to land. 
Salamander swims by using what's called an angliform swimming gait, so they propagate a nice traveling wave of muscle activity from head to tail. And if you place the salamander on ground, it switches to what's called a walking trot gait, which are very nicely coordinated with this standing wave undulation so of the body. So we have robots studying animal, animal, animal motion. Better, These six foot long robot us. snakes are designed to live permanently underwater. What? They can seek out damaged infrastructure. Select tools for specific. Oh, I think we're not supposed to drill for oil anymore. And grab what the onto fuck rails is this? to operate no, no, machinery. They're drilling for your internal organs. And this robot dog can switch to rolling on wheels at 15 miles an hour. It's coming 15 from the same miles an hour. Roll over and you dances. Yep. Jump on the platform. They ain't all running from these fucking robots gas. either. <laughs> Combining legs and wheels has some interesting. Look at that. Shit. This Yo, that is Terminator, son. <laughs> Dropped off by drone, it can rise up on legs. Well, I've seen this before. This is obstacles. old. This doesn't even exist here. NASA I don't know why they're showing the this. Oh, that's no, real. That really happened. The Ingenuity no, no, drone that, that, from that, that the rover. Just... This is the first flight on Mars, Yo. as seen by Perseverance. And NASA has also released audio. That rumbling is the sound of the wind on Mars. And the humming sound is the helicopter. The atmosphere on Mars is only 1% as dense as the atmosphere on Earth. So the drone's two four foot wide rotors spin at 2,500 RPM. That's over 40 rotations per second. The drone includes a piece of Kitty Hawk, the plane that made the first powered flight on Earth. And these robot dogs could Why work to together to, to explore Martian caves. Damn. The first dog explores the area autonomously, building a 3D map. And when it spots something interesting, like potential science. I mean, that's life. the thing. We hope in the idealistic future, robots will be used for things that we shouldn't be doing, like going to fucking caves that might fucking fall on you. We, we should be used, but instead, we're They're worried that robots to pull your body parts out of your body. Yeah, I mean, we like we have like the end of Afghanistan war. We know the war is not really over. We have we unmanned have drones. drones. We have drones, right? Drone yeah. strikes, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't need a. We can have war anywhere we feel like it, so it doesn't even yeah. matter. If there's troops in the Police ground. Police brutality. Anywhere they feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this and, is and why. Some, I... And some of the police, some of the police robots are going to look like salamanders. They're going to be slapping you around. <laughs> the second robot takes samples. They then collaborate to analyze the samples. One of them also carries special lights to assist a third robot, which carries an advanced camera for zooming in. Imagine you homeless and like spectrums. you wake up and this is happening around you. A team of robots like this can cover much more difficult terrain. And they're than taking one samples of you. Rescue missions. I fell asleep at the wrong place, man. To move an old school building <laughs> to a new location. This is so wrong, man. <laughs> And home robots are taking off rapidly. Uh oh. I robot has sold over oh, 30 yeah, the million robot vacuums. Home robots, I see this a lot. Mostly vacuum cleaners, some of which empty themselves. And it recently introduced Robo Mops. They empty themselves. Into robot your chefs food. are finally just starting to emerge, like this one, which can cook up to 5,000 dishes. At a cost of $300,000, it might make more sense to hire a private chef. But it does point to a very interesting future. This robot can identify. Somebody's going to marry their kitchen. Directly. No, that, that, laundry, that, that's already, the that's already been done. You got the motherfuckers <laughs> marrying line. fucking video Moving game avatars. Home, it can rise to <laughs> cupboards. There are also window cleaning robots like this one, which cleverly walks oh, around the window. Oh, I've seen this window. before. And this is a solar-powered weed-killing robot. It doesn't need to pull weeds because it chops them daily until they run out of stored energy and die. And robot butlers are also in Yo, development, that was metal. gradually learning to perform any task around the house. One thing that's closely correlated with health and happiness is the length of your commute. And several electric drones are planned Yo, to cut travel time I... dramatically. The Uber Air Taxi can fly it up to 180 miles an hour. And of this... course, unlike cars, it travels in a straight line with no traffic. So a 30 minute journey might it's be still vapor wave, it hasn't happened yet. The initial version will be manned, Not, carrying it, up to it, four it, passengers. It and this fully autonomous passenger drone by e has already got, carried like, its first passengers automatic on test flights. On them. The company says that <laughs> even if all the propellers failed on three of the four arms, the remaining arm would bring the drone to a rough landing, with the drone spiraling down. There's also a remote control center which can take over the drone and help it land safely. Robots may also help with the epidemic of loneliness. They could be used in UK care homes after a study found that they reduce the send a robot to end stretched. your life if you're too They lonely. can hold simple conversations, <laughs> teach you're languages, a loser. I'm gonna kill and help you. people exercise. And Sophia the robot oh, also yeah, no. to healthcare. Taking temperatures with a thermal camera on her chest 
or leaving your <laughs> to the elderly. So I can help communicate, give thermal tips, titty cameras, and provide That's social no. stimulation. That's a no for me, though. <laughs> Samsung this is a horrible future. <laughs> with their own characters, emotions, and I mean, if you want to start chanting, they will not replace us. And can we can we do that for this? It's going to offer unofficial <laughs> marriage certificates, which have been taken up by thousands of people. And robot companions are becoming increasingly wow. realistic and learning wow. to hold simple conversations. In Westworld, this leads to a dark future, which brings out no. the worst in people. Japan yeah, shows one potential that, future happen. for the world Here. with long work days and high rates of depression and loneliness. It's estimated that up to 10 million people rarely or never leave their homes. Damn, son. Very few people visit therapists in Japan, partly because it's not usually covered by health insurance. There's a strong link between unemployment and suicide. Oh my God. The Japanese often interpret losing a job as a personal failure rather than the workings of the economic system. That sounds familiar. And studies suggest that many of the largest jobs will be automated over the coming decade. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. And I'll have These more money. Not, uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are things, simply things that I think probably will happen. Instead of people walking up and down the aisles with traditional He's grocery talking stores to some like items, dictator prince these little devices at a conference. Move like, more than a million fuck? items every day between. Oh, I've seen this before. Instead this of trying to build machines that fit into a world designed for humans, this entire facility, the size of seven football fields, is custom built to make this as efficient as possible. Compounding this is the rising cost of living. In Japan, nearly half of all unmarried adults under 35 still live with their parents. In Italy, it's 67%. And in the they're UK, trying to literally wipe us out with robots don't think in more ways than one. <laughs> like, At some point to a radically different future, an age of abundance. With automation, age of there will come abundance. Almost everything will get very cheap. Except for him. Some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. The harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? If, if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, then the robots will get rid. How do you? <laughs> what's the meaning? Do you do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much. That's a much harder problem. If we don't with. pray three times the a day, the robots in your own genome has dropped from a hundred million dollars to a thousand dollars. Robotic year, surgery promises to be far cheaper and perhaps safer. Any of you ever been to surgery? Let's go on they can't, they still How many can't times have you done this surgery last week? That's the number one correlation between the success of a surgeon. If you find a surgeon is doing 10 surgeries per day, that's your woman. And so when you find what? a robot operating system that's what? doing thousands of surgeries per day, and that robot is seeing your innards in, in infrared, uh, in minute detail, and yeah, is able really to work do a to surgery death, perfectly because it's seen every variation. Autonomous cars will remove the need. Like, we for can't car work people ownership. to death, so we got to get robots. We'll make it cheaper with the cars acting as autonomous taxis when their owners aren't using them. And when you don't need to drive, Yo, commuting a bit further to a cheaper, leaving. larger, three D printed house <laughs> could make sense. A poll found that fifty three percent of Americans are unhappy at work, and in the U S. and U K., around forty percent of people find their jobs meaningless. Those Japanese <laughs> workers who consider themselves the fortunate to have a top job else. with Fuck long out. hours are paying a hidden price. People who work. So now this is getting all philosophical now. I ain't seeing no robots anymore. So, um. No, nah, but he is telling our, our future, though. It is, ta it is talking about the future that the robots are going to give us, which I think is, uh, yeah. is apropos. So, so, like, the idealistic side is that we all get, we all get paid just to hang out till we die, and robots do all the hard stuff. This is like the future that, we, as kids, we thought was going to happen, you know, like the Jetsons in some ways. We thought the, the robots can do no, all the, the hard things. The fucking Jetson dude, he had a fucking job. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, and yeah. that one job that he had was enough to pay for his for, whole family. Yeah. I mean, he had all the gadgets. He had he had all the cr fancy stuff. Um, his house was in the sky. They never walked anywhere. Yeah. So, but instead, we, we're, we're worried that, you know, these companies. This fucking spaceship folded up into a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot tell you how how badly, like I looked at that shit as a kid. I'm like, yo, I want that. You know, instead we got <clears throat> um, a weird sweet greens with like where they throw the salad 
behind the wall, like a weird yeah, they glowy throw hole. The salad. They throw the salad on your dead body. That shit looks like a fucking. Dogs pull that you shit apart. looks like a fucking salad glowy hole. Get the fuck out of here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I'm sorry, I ain't sticking shit in there. So yeah, exactly. I was like, nah, nah, I go somewhere else to get my salad. Um and then so... a fucking robot dog is, is reaching from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> nah. One of those robot, yeah, robot, like you know, like the robot weed maker is gonna be on the other side. So that's uh that's Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter, YouTube, um, Discord. Uh, Twitch, and then Dr. Regine, he's talking shit on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, and that's some no, future stuff. But not for long, because a robot is going to take over my job of talking shit. <laughs> it's going to be like two Alexas like, behind like um, microphones for Black Power Magic Hour next episode. Yep. So 